Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. Today I'm excited to share some awesome free AI tools that you can use to create different graphic design projects. So in our first demo, we're going to use the AI image generator to create unique images to use for your business or social media accounts. We're going to create some really realistic, beautiful images, and I'm going to show you how to quickly plug these images into Photo's pre-made templates to create content even faster. So let's say you have a lifestyle or health-related blog or Instagram page, and you want to make some New Year's related posts. So log into your Photo account, then go to AI tools and select text to image. Make sure that from text is selected and then just type in what you want the AI to draw. So I want to make an Instagram post promoting some festive holiday recipes. So for example, festive wintry cocktails with ice cubes, snowflake garnish with a wintry background. And now you can select your desired aspect ratio and the style you want the AI image created in. For our first demo, let's try photography three to make our image really realistic. Then select the number of images you want to generate to control the number of credits you use and click Generate. And you can see that Photor has created these ultra realistic images with these snowflake shaped ice cubes. To download these images, just click Download. And you can see on the side other images that I have generated with Photor. This one, for example, I specified that I wanted the drinks to be blue. And these are beautiful. Now let's do another example. This time I'm going to choose the cinematic style and type in a large gingerbread house with candy cane trees decorated in red, white, and green icing. And you can see these beautiful gingerbread houses that are really realistic and so vibrant. And let's do one final example with the digital art style. This time a winter background scene with snow falling in the wilderness and mountains of snow. And you can see this beautiful background that I've created. You can even change the aspect ratio, for example, if you want a larger image. And you can see these beautiful background images that could be used in any graphic design project or for a video or a poster, and then just click download. So now let's create some social media content quickly using Fodor's pre-made templates. Log into Fodor, click on all templates. I'm going to type in recipe, and let's select this holiday edition one. Now all you have to do is go over to Uploads, upload the images you just created, then drag and drop it into one of the frames that has an image in it, and double click on it to reposition the image. You can drag on the sides as well if you want to zoom up. And I'll repeat that with another image I generated with Fodor. Then to change the color of the template, just click on the colored box, then click on Color and New Color, then use the eyedropper tool to pull a color from one of the pre-made images so it all matches. Then just click on the text and add in your own text. And you could even change the elements if you want by clicking on element. Let's type in snowflake and add your own little snowflake. Click and delete the previous element. You can add in your own branding and then click download. And you can repeat this with as many images as you want to generate some quick and unique images for your Instagram, Facebook, etc. The next AI tool I'm going to demonstrate is Fodor's AI Replacer. And this is an amazing tool. Let's say you want to fix up your holiday photos. For example, this aluminum can in a Christmas photo taken of me. I can replace it with a candle or a bouquet of flowers. Or let's say you want to change some elements even of AI generated photos. And you can replace these snowflakes with raspberries, for example. You can do this in a matter of seconds. So to use the AI Replacer tool, click on AI Replace under AI Tools, then click on Open Image to upload your image. Then you have two different options. You can use the Brush tool to brush over the area you want to replace, or you can choose Quick Select. If you choose Quick Select, you can simply select the area you want to replace. So I'm going to click around to select the aluminum can that I want to replace. And for fun, I'm going to type in Christmas candle to make it look like I'm holding a Christmas candle instead of an ugly can. Then click generate. And you can see it has transformed the aluminum can into a candle. You can click generate more if you want to try again. And if you like the image, just click apply. And now this image of me looks much more festive. 
Let's try another quick demonstration of the Quick Select tool with this photograph of a woman wearing a winter hat. I'm going to select the winter hat and then type in red hat and then generate. And now it's replaced her hat with a red festive colored hat. Let's try another example with the brush tool. Here's an image I generated with Fodor, but I want to replace the snowflakes with some raspberry ice cubes. So I'm going to brush over all of the snowflakes in this image and then type in what you want the AI to replace it with. I'm going to type in raspberry ice cubes and click generate. You can see there are a few different options. And this second option here is perfect. It's replaced all of the snowflakes with raspberries and it looks much more realistic. Then click apply. There are many uses for a tool like this. If you just want to fix up something in your image, this is also a great tool to edit some of your holiday photos. And the last tool we're going to demonstrate is the AI image extender. And this is awesome if you have an image, but you need this image to be bigger. And rather than zooming up and cropping out some of the image, you can simply use an image extender to artificially make the image larger. For example, let's say I want to make a YouTube thumbnail out of this image here. I can use the AI image extender to make it much larger. And then I can just use Fodor's tools to add in some cool elements and some nice text. So let me show you how to do that. From Fodor's AI tool suite, we'll click AI expand then upload your image. Then under custom size, let's change this to 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, which is the standard size for a YouTube thumbnail. Then click and reposition your image, your original image, where you want it. And then click generate where you want AI expand to fill in the pixels and artificially expand the image. You can see here it's come up with a few different options. It's filled in some fireworks in one image and some trees in the second one. You can click generate more to try some other options. I'm really happy with this one here. So I'm going to click apply. And then to quickly turn this into a YouTube thumbnail, you can click on elements and add some basic shapes, change the color of those shapes, click on the text tool and add a title and play around with some different shapes and different text and add some elements. And in a matter of minutes, you have a unique thumbnail that you can use for your YouTube videos. These are just some of Fodor's AI tools. There are so many different tools that you can use and try out for free. So you can sign up for free by using the link in the description below. And if you're interested in trying Fodor's Pro membership, you can get 30% off using the promo code JENN30 you can redeem the promo code via the web. And once redeemed, you can access Fodor on all devices. Fodor is available both on the web and there's also an app that you can download. I recommend you guys try out Fodor. I love these tools. I've been using them on a lot of my holiday photos and it's an awesome website to help you generate unique content quickly for your website or for your social media accounts. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all in my next video.